Okay, so today I'm going to show you how to load GPX files into your Garmin handheld GPS. Those are the files that will allow your GPS to find geocaches around you without connection to the internet. First thing we're going to want to do is go to geocaching.com. You're going to need to log in and you're also going to need to be a premium member to do this. Premium members enjoy a bunch of benefits like advanced caches, all kinds of stuff. We're running only about $10 a year, it's well worth it if you're going to be doing geocaching. So from the home page, we're going to click play, pocket queries, create new query, query name will be testable, as you can see I've ran a few, but anyway, we're going to want to choose the day of Monday, because it is Monday. If it's Monday and you choose Friday, you will not get your pocket query until Friday, so you don't want that. I'm going to run it once, then delete it. You want to do a thousand here so that you get all the caches you can. Selected types, you can do any type, but I like to do traditional, multi, letterbox, and earth cache. Any, in any container size, this is the size of the container, small bison tubes up to your large Tupperware containers. I just do any size that I haven't found. You can. There's a lot of options you can choose. I always just choose that I haven't found because those are the ones I want to find. Difficulty and terrain, I'll leave the same. Within country and state, unless I'm going out of the country or out of the state, there's no reason for me to mess with that. I do from origin, and I do from postal code, and I'll just do mine. If you're going to do, you know, your friends, do your friends' postal code, or your sisters, brothers, moms, do their postal code so you have that. Within a radius of 100 miles, that'll be plenty. Attributes to include, I find that it includes all of them. So the only ones that I do is attributes to exclude and I always exclude the boat and the scuba diving. Email address, format you want to do .gpx and I always include the pocket query name to download files so that you know which one it is if you're doing it multiple. It is testable. Thanks, your pocket query has been saved and it currently results in 1,000 caches. So we'll go back to pocket queries again. And here you see pocket queries ready for download. There's already two, so we're going to have to wait for it to download. That'll switch to three at that time. And we'll fast forward through this so you don't have to watch me waiting. But it usually only takes about a minute. Okay, and there we have it. Pocket queries ready for download is three. So we'll go to that and click on our testable. And it'll immediately start downloading. It only takes a second to download. Very small file. I'm going to open up 7-zip. Find our testable.zip, extract it. I just extracted here. I'm going to delete it anyway. Once I get onto the GPS, there's no longer a use for it. Close that out. Open up my files. Now, you want to make sure that your Garmin GPS is in USB mass storage mode so that you can move files the way you want to. <clears throat> and we're going to go to downloads, find our unzipped. That's a zip. That's our unzipped. We're going to want to copy that. Go down to our Garmin where it actually says the name of your Garmin, not USB drive F because that is also the Garmin. So we're going to want to go where it says Garmin eTrex 30. Click on Garmin. And click GPX. Go back real quick. Here, once you click Garmin, you'll have all these options. Make sure you do GPX. Archive, Current, and Navigation. So we want to do Navigation. The other ones won't pull up. We're just going to paste it right in there. As you can see, this is uh, I have my GPS empty. This is my new cache from today, so it'll be fresh, up to date. There won't be any empties, any archived caches, and that's it. Next time you power up your GPS, you'll see that your caches are good, ready to go, and ready to be found. So um, thank you. If you have any suggestions on how I can help me help you, let me know. See you next time.